Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're going to be doing another episode of our Saurian Devlog. Uh, this will be 113 of our uh, little series that we've got going on here. So with the update that came out just with the courtship and all that, they literally just come out like a few days ago. This is going to be a little bit more updating about that, but um, there is some other updates and talking about what's got planned for next and things like that. So it's really interesting one to talk about today. So um for sorry in devlog 113 we've got um starting off so we say hello everyone this week saw the release of saurian update 2.3 which introduced courtship native mating and nesting mechanics along with other changes and fixes thank you so much for everyone who helped us test during our public testing period your feedback was extremely valuable we are also looking out for a new volunteer internal qa to help with our patches so please get in touch with us if that sounds appealing to you so really really awesome since this month's uh mostly more of the same prepping for the next uh patch release we don't have much that's new to show you but we can fill you in on our plans for the next couple patches so our next patch is planned to be a small one with an overhaul of some of the environment and weather systems so something a bit small uh, which will address some long-standing issues with both aesthetic and performance of the game and in addition giving you more time uh, giving us more time to work on fixes and stability for other facets of the game so kind of a little bit of a rest and give a little bit of updates to visuals and things like that so it could be a very interesting one and i'm um, working on next uh, well in which we'll be working to introduce our playable t-rex so that's something everyone's been wanting uh everyone wants t-rex coming so it'll be coming soon we know many of you are eager for the t-rex uh we are too but we figured logistically this makes the most sense as we want to try and get at least one smaller patch uh, before we take the chunk of time needed for the t-rex so uh, with all that said arlo wants to give you uh go over some of the new features for this patch so that's really really awesome it's cool that they're using this devlog as a way to say it. this is our plan so the first update's going to just be uh, kind of some fixes uh new updates environments new plants things like that and then will be the next update will be everyone's favorite big bad carnival t-rex which would be very awesome to play as i'm quite excited to give that a playthrough and have a look um so we've got from ale giving us the uh update uh kind of a rundown so this gives us a little like almost a little tutorial almost so um so as you heard we've released part uh patch 2.3 which gives the introduction of the courtship mating and nesting systems and we thought it'd be a good idea to take this chance to give you all a run through and what to expect and how the system works really awesome so know if you're a regular devlog reader or a member of discord this might not be news to you but this is mostly a uh, refresher or those new to the game so uh, don't worry about that it's nice to go over it and so if you guys are watching this video for the first time and haven't played saurian and you guys want to get into it this kind of gives you the idea of that so uh, we're going to start off with courtship so to get a mate you have to have find another adult animal of your same species but a different gender and you can use the courtship call uh, from the social call wheel so doing a call without a target has a chance of attracting a male uh, or a mate to your position and doing a call target to another animal does a courtship display in their direction after that it is up to your potential mate to decide if you are fit or healthy enough to mate with and a good way of stacking the odds in your favor is to ensure that you're not injured and keep yourself well fed and hydrated as you age from hatchling to adult and if you are rejected check your health and see if you've been recently injured or check your fitness score on the pause menu uh, to see if you need to work on your fitness so you can see that's a little call icon there and this tells you your fitness so the fitter you are the more likely you are to get a successful court uh, chip back and see like that but so if you guys have been recently injured or you guys are not well fed things like that that'll decrease fitness school so making sure your fitness is always excellent or good will really help your chances of getting a mate and um, as you can see here the fitness indicator is directly related related to how you lived your life if you had it rough as a hatchling and had trouble keeping up with your needs then you're probably not fit enough to be considered a desirable mate and your fitness will continue updating so long as you keep up with your needs and you will eventually read a, reach a point where you're high enough to give courtship another try so just take care of yourself and then uh this is basically just like life take care of yourself and then if you uh get fit enough or well not fit in the physical sense but just take care, good enough care of yourself uh you'll eventually find a desirable mate and it'll work so a good life lesson in there a little bit don't you think <laughs> a little bit but also helps out with the game 
Uh, once you get accepted, then it's time to make a nest. So the courtship uh, call icon that you can see with the lovely hearts, that's cute, will change to the nest placement icon. So uh, when you select this, um, you will enter the nest placing mode. So make sure your nest is on even ground or away from any trees. Uh, you might also consider going to higher ground since if it rains or floods, the nest will be affected if you're too close to body of water. So if you're too close to body of water, your babies will die. So to dig out your nest, you press the left mouse button and place plants in it if needed and pick them up and holding the left mouse button and then dropping them with the right mouse button. So this is mainly for animals such as Triceratops where you kind of, you don't sit on your eggs like a Dakota Raptor, you kind of just place vegetation on it. So that's the kind of uh, style that you got to do. So if you pick it up with the left mouse, drop with the right mouse and after a quick cinematic, you are ready to take care of the nest. And then you have um, nesting, so we've gotten with that. So to keep your nest warm as a Dakota Raptor, you simply sit on it for a small length of time. You can check the temperature of your nest by going into scent mode with the E key. And after your nest is warm, you can get it to uh, get up, move around, or defend it if necessary. And the nest will slowly cool off, so be sure to keep a close eye on it. Make sure that they don't get too cold, otherwise the um, babies will die. And also roost on it when necessary to help warm up. So it's kind of something you just have to manage. And for Triceratops, it's quite similar, but you don't sit on the eggs. So you'll need to place plant matter on top of your nest to keep it warm. And the plant matter will decay uh, with time, so make sure you check your status of your nest frequently. So just to make sure that eggs stay warm, you either place vegetation on it as a triceratops or as a code raptor, you sit on it. I'm sure there'll be some variation as you get different species uh, across time. That'll be pretty awesome. And after some time, your next eggs will hatch and you will have a little group of babies. So congratulations, you're a parent. Wonderful. Um, and now, uh, now you get to take care of your little ones and watch them grow. So that's kind of, uh, got to take care of your little babies, watch them grow up and uh, watch them as an adult triceratops leave them, leave from the herd or just leave the babies, uh, Dakota Raptors leave from your parents. So that's very, very interesting and I think it adds a lot to the game because people do like uh, courtship and things like that. It's a very important part of being an animal. So it's cool that it's represented in the simulator Saurian. And... Um, if you ever want to have another clutch, you can do so. So as long as your mate is still around and your group has no hatchling in it, you can have another group of hatchlings. So if you're a really good survivor and you just want to keep pumping out hatchlings, you can do that. So that's always very awesome. And so anyway, happy watermelon season for you all. We hope you enjoy this patch. And I certainly have enjoyed this patch. I've done some testing behind the scenes and I really enjoy seeing the little watermelon babies. They are truly very cute. Really, really awesome. So uh, we've got for the community spotlight, we've got some pretty interesting um, things. The preview image was by June, and then we have a wonderful picture by um, Cypher Hex, uh, Hexus with the adult and baby Dakota Raptors. How cute! Next, we've got Era, who did a painting of the Dakota Raptor. It looks really nice. Uh, this is nice one by Zitar, who did a um, Ankylosaurus. I can't wait to see them uh, as a playable. That's going to be very awesome. Really came out wonderfully. And then we've got another one here. June took a picture of a baby uh, trike sadly they got eaten by dakota so that's just the chain of life but look how cute he is his watermelon too bad he's got eaten by dakota raptor but that's the way his life and then we have this really funny bitch picture this is the rubik's cube who depicted pachycephalosaurus and its natural creepy past the habitat so this is in the back rooms or something like that but yeah really really awesome um really nice to see this and Hope you guys, if you already have Saurian, uh, enjoy this patch and make all sorts of little watermelons and little ducklings or d raptorlings. I think it'd be really awesome to see that. Uh, really, really cute. And I can't wait to see the new update. So next update's going to be a bit of a smaller one. Hopefully they add the new a a UI. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, new plants, things like that. Something just to make the game look a little nicer and fix some performance issues. Give you a little chance to do that. And then we'll be getting everyone's big bad Tyrannosaurus Rex and hopefully uh, I don't want to give dates but that'd be really cool to do that by end of year would be awesome but um yeah I think this would be a very great place to end the video so I hope you guys like and subscribe always remember to get the little bell icon to get notified blown anything so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys like and subscribe and bye bye <laughs>